This is the plaintiff, Shanti Jones. She says she hired the defendant to give her an asymmetrical style bob with two streaks in the front of her head for her big upcoming birthday celebration. Well, as she was sewing the weave into her hair, she could feel the needles going into her scalp. The defendant also burned her with a hot comb. Bottom line, the woman injured her. The bob was not asymmetrical because one side was too short and she looked horrible at her birthday. She's suing for $1,084.84 for all she's now out. This is the defendant Yvette. She says she installed the weave on the woman's hair. She asked her if she liked it. The plaintiff said yes, paid for it, and left. The woman then bashed her on social media. She tried to ruin her good reputation, and she even had people threaten her. Well, she doesn't know this cyber bully a thing. And if anyone's owed money today, it's not the plaintiff. She's accused of being short with a customer. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $1,084.84 for humiliation and bullying on the internet. All parties, please get your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. But against have been sworn, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Jones, you are suing Evett for $1,084.84 that you say she owes you for ruining um, your hairdo for your birthday and thereby ruining your birthday. Yes, ma'am. Tell me what happened. So um, I heard about the defendant actually through a, um, one of my good friends. She did her hair for a concert. And then I was like, okay, I like her, you know. So I went on her page and she had a lot of followers and she was known in the city. What's a lot of followers for something like this? She got like 50,000 followers. Oh, doesn't that mean you buy some? Because you can't possibly have 50,000 clients. No, I did not buy any. I, I don't know if it's, but. Why do they follow you? Do you do tutorials on there or something? Do you do something? I'm just a popular in my city. Um, so what do, you, what do you, what is it? If I were to follow you, what would I see by following I you? I guess because I'm pretty. I know how to dress. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people who are pretty and know and how to hair. dress. But do you have pictures of your hair, of the hair you do? And yes. maybe they want. Yeah, she has pictures of her to hair. To have examples. And looks, for, she, okay. she makes wigs, she sells hair, and, and the, hair, her, the hair on her page looks pretty good. But okay. you know, when you post on your page, you're going to make sure it is tight. Well, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, I ended up messaging her on July 17th about doing, doing me an asymmetrical bob. And I sent, it, sent her the pictures of what I wanted. Asymmetrical bob means? So it means one so side is longer than the other. one side longer yes, than the other. Because it was something different. You know, I never had that before. And I liked it. It was my um, birthday. So I said, I'm going to do something different. So uh, she ended up saying, okay, she could do it. And then the 18th, I ended up Did making Did you my, send her a picture of how you wanted it? Yes, ma'am. I sent her, I sent her pictures of my actual, um, of like different styles that had that. So I, I sent her a picture of asymmetrical bob. So... We get to the appointment, you know. Uh, she was nice. I came in. Everything was nice. She was playing gospel music. I was like, yes. Gospel music. I was so like, yes. You were like into like it. All that. Okay. You know, all right. thank you, Jesus, you know, got me in the mood. Okay. So <laughs> I'm sitting there, you know, she's doing my hair, you know, and she's kind of sticking me with the pins. As she's Did you tell her, her ouch? No, I didn't say ouch. Because I was oh, just I'd say, like. I'd say ouch. I should have okay. said ouch, Your Honor. But I'm like, you know, sometimes. I know beauty is pain, but I never felt that pain before. I don't, I I don't see men going people. through that kind of pain. So, <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't see them wearing high heels right, and painting their faces right. up. I, I'm getting a little sick and tired of the whole okay. beauty is pain thing. Go on. <laughs> so you're on. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, it is what it is. Let's just go ahead and get this done. And I just. In the back of my mind, I'm the whole time like she is known. She just did my friend hair. She got to be good. I know she good. I just know it. I know it. Shanti, you know she good. Okay. So, so I'm what her, happens? Like, Tell me what happens. So then she um she sews the hair in my head. So then the problem comes when she turns me around so she can cut my bob. And judge, no lie, all I heard was, and I'm like. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So then I'm like, nah, nah, I can't be, can't be. So she turns me can't around. Can't be, can't be what? Can't be, can't be that she cut my hair that short. Oh, okay. So she turns me back around to look in the mirror. And like, I know she looking at me. I'm looking at her in the mirror. She was like, I think I cut it too short. I'm like, yeah, you, you cut it too short. All right. Do you have so, pictures of yes, how short Yes, I she actually cut? do. And it was okay. pictures I took on my birthday, but I never posted them. So I have it in my Would phone Would that right be now. it? I have Yeah, right. this is about short. And I also have a picture of how it correlates with the other side, if you want to see that on my phone. You have it up? Yes, ma'am, I have it up. Okay. You can see on my birthday picture how um, it wasn't supposed to be cut that short. Okay. Yeah. And so that's shorter than... Then what it was... <laughs> it's a great picture, but that's, Thank that's you. shorter than you wanted it. Yeah, that's way shorter than what it was supposed to be. Right. So what happens when you so tell after, her, yeah, that's a lot shorter, what did she shorter. say? She was like, okay, I'm going to take some money off, you know, off of the style because, so you know... So what did she take could, off? She took $25 off. So at that point, she did say, I'm going to say that she did say, so is everything okay? 
So I'm looking at my hair. You know, I just look in the mirror quick, you know, just like this right here. And you say, yes, it's and okay. I was like, then yes, you get okay. home that night and then you realize that in your that you start to feel like there are more and more problems. Mm -hmm. What are the problems that you started to feel you noticed that night? Yeah, so 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 during that day, I actually look and I'm pulling my, you know how you want to just do a little behind yep. your ear. My cap is sticking out. And that's what you can see right there. My cap is sticking out. And then I'm like, hold on, my cap's sticking out. I don't think this is right. So then when I look, I pull up my bang. I'm trying to do my bang too. I pull up my bang. My edges are out, and Judge, I got edges. You can braid my edges in my in my during during the braid. Now that's What's my a picture edges sticking of, out. This is a picture taken when this picture taken. That was um two days later, and my I was actually at a restaurant at that time, and my friends were like, "Shanti, look at your hair," and I'm like, "Yeah, y'all, I've been trying to deal with it, you know." I just so you send her do. a text that night. Right? No, you, I didn't send her. I didn't send her a DM that day. When did you do it? I sent her a DM when I took those pictures. That was um two, two days, days later. Yeah. All right. Do you, can you bring up in your phone the text that you sent her? Yeah. Okay. So she comes in to do this job, and she does show you a picture of how she wants it done. Yes. And in fact, she says that she wanted the long side past her shoulder. Yes. Okay, so you know you cut it too short. What happened? Yes. How did that happen? So I just made a mistake. As pretty and popular as you are, how did that happen? I just made a mistake, like everyone makes a mistake. So by making my mistake, I offered the money off. When so she what is your defense? That she sat there and said, everything's fine? Okay, so the problem that I have is she contacted me uh, a day later or so and told me that it was an issue, but I asked her before she left the salon was everything okay? She said everything was okay. Then she said once she got in the car, she noticed things. So I said, why didn't you come back in the shop so it could have been fixed? She said she didn't have time, this and that. So I, I did offer a free install. She didn't take the free install. She wanted to go to social media and bash me on social media. People were threatening me and my were they DMs. you? I have the um, So this turned into a whole big yes, social media it turned into a whole big thing when it didn't have to be. All right. So somebody posts on your Facebook page after you complained about her. Mm -hmm. You know where she stays. You go give her a $175 blank whooping, <laughs> period. Man, I don't know what right, how does she control? How is that something that, I mean, when you, okay, so you say that person is threatening you. That person is smack talking to her on her Facebook page, but you saw it. That's what you mean. Right. Yes. Did anybody actually threaten you? I have personal ones that were sent to my direct Instagram. Right. That were They're threats. They're also there too. I mean, it's that like were bullying. Yes or no? I, I guess listen. I just okay. listen. You call, you're you're suing for cyberbullying, and I'm not going to read through a bunch of stuff. Show me. Are they highlighted? What you're meant? No, but it's just right there. It's no, just it's one not message. just right there. Circle with a pen the threat, so I can determine if it's a threat. Because here's what I don't do. I don't allow litigants to exaggerate and then call that evidence. I need to see the evidence of a threat. That some I'd like to see that because okay. you're suing for cyberbullying. I want to see who bullied you. First, I want to see if anybody bullied you. Then I want to see if the person who bullied you as her. While she's looking for that, let's go back to you. I see the text that you, or the direct message. Yes, ma'am, DMs, yes, DM. Hey, sorry for the late message, but I had to let you know I'm very dissatisfied with my hair. Aside from the lynch length, which I'm dealing with, I noticed more problems when I got in the car. My cap was left out. Some of the tracks aren't sewn down properly. I'm not trying to cause any problems, but for the price I paid, this is unacceptable. It is also my birthday weekend, and I had a photo shoot, and although my hair is passable, it isn't up to standards like it should have been for that price. I've tried to deal with it, but I couldn't anymore. I just wanted to know if I could get some compensation for my hair, whether it's more money off, a free install, fixing my hair, or some other form. Again, I'm not trying to be a problem. I just needed to express my concerns to you. That couldn't be more polite. Then she sends you the pictures that show that it's a real problem. And you say, hi, yes, I don't have a problem with giving you a free install. But when you said you noticed things once you got in the car, you should have come back in the shop so that it could have been fixed, not waited until a day later to say something. She answers to you, I was upset. I really didn't want to go back in. I advise that in the future you go back in okay. because that's just the better way to do it. Then everybody's happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for that. We're all good. Okay, thanks for that. Free install. We've settled the case. We're all good. And then you send this. In reality, I wouldn't be wrong if I didn't redo your hair because for the simple fact that, and caps, I asked you before you left if there was anything wrong with your hair besides the mistake of me cutting it too short. Right then and there was your opportunity to speak up. How is that a good 
idea. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So are most hair cutters competent? Uh, yeah, I believe so. You think they are? Yeah. Okay, so you go to a strange town, you go into a place, never met anybody, you go to a hair cutter. What are the chances, percentages, you're going to get a good haircut? I would say about 60%. 60%. That doesn't sound, that sounds high risk to me. What do you say? I think it's subjective. But overall, yes, you could probably get a good haircut. So you would take your chances that yeah. way? Yeah. Man or woman? Who? For the hair cutter, would you pick? Or does it matter? Look at how they're dressed. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Going inside the courtroom. Why do you have to have the last word? Why, when you have it resolved from a customer, so you're a businesswoman now. Right? So your decisions have to be not based on emotion and insult and ego and anger and all the other things that motivate all of us when we, you know, when we smack talk on text or DM. Can I say something? Oh, wait, but there's more. She sees that and she says, how much later is that? Oh, it's the next day in the afternoon when you she know, had, had a chance to, think to about stew. It. Girl, I had to think about it. Sit I and stew. No, you didn't just think about it. You reread all this stuff. Yeah. Over I, yeah. and over and over. And each time you reread it, you got madder. And then your friends reread it. And then your friends all had an opinion. Mm -hmm. I says, why you don't do this? And what's her response? Wow. Okay. You know what? You're absolutely right. I should have come back into the salon to let you try to fix your mistakes. But as I already said, I had work later on. I was irritated. I had errands to run. You being a stylist, you should always double check and never let your clients leave your seat looking any kind of way. But I di digress. Also, you could say you don't have to redo my hair, although the ethical and moral thing to do would be to understand how you made a client feel on her birthday weekend. Now I'm perturbed and I'd rather you not do my hair. But like I said, I'm not trying to cause problems. So if you want to, you could either just give me half of my money back, 75 bucks on my cash app, here's my address, or you could just replace the hair that you cut wrong so I won't have to buy anymore and I can let someone else install it. Look at that. And then what do you respond back? What does she, do you know what you responded back to? I didn't to? say anything. Nothing, nothing? What does she do? <laughs> on her story, she puts, please don't send me no paragraphs. I'm simply not reading it. And she put a little kissy face. So I said, okay. Since you, I, my last message to her was, since you don't read paragraphs, please send my money back. That's it. Like D-A-S-S-I-T. That's it. Okay. And that was it. And then D-I-S-S-I-T. D-A-S-S-I-T. D -A -S -S -I -T. That's it. I That's had to, it. I couldn't okay. be proper I'm, no I've more. been spelling it wrong this whole time. I couldn't be proper. Right. <laughs> so do you see how everything digresses? Just as a businesswoman, do you see that? Because you're running a business, and, and if your business is doing this well, you know, you, you, you have to realize that. So what you tell me then, how does it get nasty? You were looking for something that you wanted to show me. Did you find what you were looking for? Well, I sent the, the messages. Um, they're circled there. Okay. B Y U up that girl's head. That blank wasn't installed right. She should should have beat yo blank scamming blank long feet blank <laughs> long feet <laughs> Zach long feet blank blank ho. All right. That's not funny. You won powdered donut. Michael Jackson looking blank. What is that? What does powdered donut mean? I don't know. I don't even know who what sent that. What does powdered donut mean? I don't know, Your Honor. What is? I don't Nobody know who sent that. Each okay. thing that was. No, like, I know you're not. Well, yeah. I, I know that it's not being if sent was, under your if name. If it was in I, my comments, I tried to delete all the bad ones, but it was a lot of bad ones, ma'am. So know. is all this on her Facebook page? This is from the social media post that she made. But in, I, I but know no, these are people. From yeah, but she can't control the world. Listen, this is everybody's problem. Everybody wants to be on Instagram and be an Instagram star and be on social media. And the, but you know what? Someone else read all the bad stuff. We don't want all the bad stuff on there. It always digresses to bad stuff. So she posted on social media and then... People respond and people are crazy. And so stuff goes up there. And, but you can't blame her for that and you can't get money out of her for that. So on your counterclaim against her, zero. What I'd like to talk about is her real claim against you, which involves two things. She wants you to recompense her because of the pictures I showed you, the money it'll cost, the money she paid for the install and the money for the extensions, which would be a total of $271.21. Okay, so the issue that I have with that is because I asked before she left if everything was okay. She said yes. She, right then and there, she should have said, 
And then I gave her the $25 off as well. And then it shouldn't have been taken to social media because social media can't help you get Why your not? money Why not? That's back. how you built your business. I have 50,000 followers because I'm so pretty. You built your business that way. Why do you not have a thick enough skin? And it only went to social media because you didn't treat her right to begin with. Because you had to have the last word and you had to, you know, and then everything descended. There's a cost to that. And that is that you live by the sword, you die by the sword. You want all that, Poppy? You want your whole life out there? Yeah. People, some other people may not like what you did. No. You got to pay the lady back. I'm ordering you to pay her back the $271.21, the value of the hair extensions plus the money for the install. That's my verdict. Yeah. So the plaintiff prevails in this case. Ms. Yvette, let me ask you, do you think you did the wrong thing by emailing her back some of those messages? No. How do you feel now about losing the case, though? I don't feel like I should have lost. I don't feel like it was fair. So you think you did everything right? <laughs> you did make I mean, a mistake. Yes, we you make admitted mistakes. That. Yes, we make mistakes, but I don't feel like I was wrong. Okay. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right. Here comes Ms. Jones. You presented a good case. Oh, thank you. Yes, I try. How, how do you feel now? Do you feel like you, you're the victor? I feel good. I just, I just want people to know that when, in a business, you can't treat your clients any kind of way. We come in, we spend good money, we work hard, you know. Just have some professionalism. You're a business I'm not trying to stop your hustle. Just have some professionalism in what you're doing. And then if I have a problem, that's the review. We're going to put it on social media to let others know that that happened to me so they won't, it won't happen to them. What about the party and everything during the birthday I mean, yeah, I had, a, I had a good birthday party. You know, she ain't stopped nothing. You know, my friend did my hair over again. It's just that it was just like a little bump in the road. And that bump got soft thanks to Judge Million. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm glad you feel right. better. Okay. Yes, thank you. you good luck to you. <laughs> Doug, here's the deal. If something happens to you in the salon, complain before you leave. It will, pre it will preserve your rights.